This person was built. I made this person. I made this person by diving in to the insecurities that life gave me. Because now they're yours. They're yours to own. If you're not smart, call yourself dumb. It's okay, because you are. But take that now as you're putting yourself down. If you're fat, call yourself fat. I used to be 300 pounds. Mm. We, we want to talk so soft to ourselves. We're looking for that recovery day. And that recovery day is everything in your life. Everything in your life is a recovery day. We're looking for it. It's not coming. It's not coming. Mm. Get over that recovery day. And that's the mentality I took with me. And what happened through that process was all the frivolous things of life started to float away. I used to tell people lies so they would like me. Because mm. I was so insecure. When you start to build yourself up and start to have the one thing that we don't have is confidence. Yep. Real, authentic confidence from hard work. Everything else goes away. You, you no longer look to other people for your self-esteem. For validation. That's right. Or, yeah. You now know. I walk in a room now and I know the hours and years and decades I put into David Goggins. I gotta, I gotta get beyond my past. I gotta get beyond these emotions. I gotta make some big changes. I gotta break the habit of being myself. You know, I gotta hmm. stop being this person. Now, that sounds really good theoretically and philosophically, but change is such a hard thing, really? all right? Because the moment you come back to your senses and you step back into your life and you see that person, or you go to that place or you're with that uh, experience, so many people are unconsciously reacting in their thoughts and feelings to everything in their environment. So now their environment is controlling how they think and feel. So they realize that in order to change, you gotta change the environment. they gotta be greater than their environment, mm. greater than the conditions in the world, greater than the circumstances. Be mindful of, of that every time Stay it comes conscious. up to be yes. like, okay, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. think differently, right. I'm I not got, gonna react Yeah, this right, way. I'm not gonna go back. I'm not gonna go back because the moment you start reacting emo emotionally, you're thinking in the past. And if you can't think greater than how you feel and you believe your thoughts have something to do with your destiny, you're creating more of your past. I, I'm just really hard on myself. Like, like, you know, somebody said, man, you're hard on people. I said, dude, I'm hard, I'm hard on me. Why are you yeah. so hard on yourself? You're so successful and you've achieved because, so much. Because I know, I know, I think, I believe in my potential. You know, I, 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 this isn't a positive attitude thing. I believe in my potential. I, I'm probably one of the most honest people I know. Yeah. That's for sure. And, and and I just can't, I can't fake it. Like I, they say, fake it till you make it. Dude, why fake it till you make it? Why don't you just make it? You know, why, why take the extra step of faking it? Like be, become somebody, you know, it's not money. It's not, oh, how can I get a bigger jet? I mean, I like all that stuff, but it's, it's never been, oh, I'm going to write a book and it's going to be a bestseller. It's been about this, this unidentifiable potential that drives me, this interest in how much could I do?